Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm so sorry it cut off last time um, when we were doing a headdress. Um, my camera battery just decided to die on me. Um, I did manage to do the other side. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I did it on the other side. Um, and then you can do it on your you know, whole page. Um, first of all, I'm going to go in again with the sand and just go all over very lightly all the areas of the headdress. Now, I thought I would keep this in keeping with the rest of the headdress um, and do it the same colour as we did the other, other bits. Um, just so it all sort of really tied in with each other and then I will show you when I've done this um, um, a piece on the bottom which we are going to do um, in the same colours as well just so it all ties in together and then the final piece will be um, I don't think I'll get it done in this video but the final piece will then be um, a um, I don't know if it's going to work out, it's just um, an idea I had from something um, I saw on another video. Um, but there are some feathers down the bottom and I am going to attempt a, something I've not done before. Um, and we'll see how that turns out. But for now we'll just cover this all in sand. Um, then I go into the darkest areas which I think... I'm going to do these um, sort of wrap pieces here. I'm going to do them in the artichoke. And I'm just going to sort of go all over them with the artichoke. And a little bit in the um, areas here where Mardell has um, shown us. So we'll just do the artichoke in these pieces like so um, we're nearing the end of this so I'm hoping I can get this bit done and then the last bit should be what I have the idea I have for the feathers um, and then we will be finished um, and if any of you um, have any ideas on what you would like to see in the next one um, I do have a request to show hair um, I have got a picture um, that I have completed all bar the hair, um, not a Mardel Rubio one, um, but in a book, new book that I have. Um, so I will, I've kept that back, especially so I could show you how I do the hair on that one. And that one is going to be black hair. Um, right, so there's the artichoke. And then I'm going to go in over the top with the Spanish orange so I'm going to go over the top of that and I'm just going to sort of go on here just sort of on the edge sides and then go in again with the sand and over the whole lot and of course the tie bits wrap bits whatever you want to call them as well all right so where were we all right do this one in the artichoke and then go over with the spanish orange i think this comes out quite good it's quite a good combination this lot like i said before i don't have combination charts i don't follow combination charts I do have some combinations written down, but I never refer to them, to be honest. Um, I just pick stuff and it works or it doesn't. Simple as that. Um, I live and learn by my mistakes or, you know, by what goes. Um, if I find something I really, really like, I will write it down and I might refer to it again. But generally, I, I don't generally, you know write things down or I do I do usually write things down so I can refer to it but I don't usually um go back to it too often but I mean it's there if I want to so 
so that's quite nice um right i'll just do the eye check on these wraps because a lot of these wraps have the um what's my dog eating the floor something crumb she's found um they do have the dark lines on them um i bet zach has dropped cheese or something on the floor and that's what she's eating that's what he usually does when he makes a sandwich or cheese on toast or whatever he's had he usually drops cheese all over the floor so that's probably what she's eating um right well i know he's just had cheese on toast because he's just had a go at me um he's not having a very good week this week which i'm not why i've not been able to film um or not been around much um on streams and things um i do watch streams back um i always do um i watch all my friends streams back and i it, depending on how things are i might leave a comment if i've got a minute or i might just drop a like um but i'm really sorry about not being in streams um i, I don't like joining a stream and then having to leave abruptly um because of something you know that zach's come down swearing and shouting and creating like he does um we did have the police out again the other day he he tried to jump in the river and somebody saw him from the pub and called the police and obviously they brought him home um he'd had a big argument with us um on the morning um and he's fallen out with his friend which doesn't help things um so yeah not having a good time at the moment but he's upstairs um hopefully not doing anything stupid because he tried to hang himself again last night um so i mean i can't babysit him i can't sit and watch him 24 hours a day i just you know just gotta hope that he doesn't do anything serious right that's that bit now we'll move down to the bottom um and i thought maybe I don't know what these bits are, so I thought I would um, do these the same colour um, as we did them bits. So, because they've got wraps and things on them as well. So, I'm going to just go over them with the sand, the same as we did before. Just a light layer all over with the sand. I hope you can see these. There is quite a few of them to do. Um, and then we've got the bits there um, and the wings. But I just thought I would do these the same colour. So it all sort of ties in together. And it doesn't, you know, look too many colours and out of place. Um... I don't always do that. Sometimes, I mean, I'll put lots and lots of colours on the page. Um, but sometimes I think it just it just sort of pays to um, not put too many different colours all the while and try to sort of tie in some of them with each other. Um, and I just thought that on this page as well. And I thought, well, I am quite lazy um, about getting my pencils out. Um sometimes i will just oh i've got this pencil out so i'll just do it in this color um but these i just thought i would tie in with the top so it doesn't look out of place right so we've got these bits and we've also if i'll just move the page down we've also got these bits here which i'm not sure what they are so i'm going to do them exactly the same color as well because i'm not really sure about them right then we'll go in with the artichoke and we'll just go where Mardell has put the um, side bits um, where he's put this shade in on the side and do them and then we'll go in with the Spanish orange and just go over that I'm not really sure what these are. Um, 
but they can be whatever, I don't know. Um, but they can be this colour anyway. So that we might put some highlights on them as well with the Posca. Right, let's move you up again. Here's where I mean with the feathers, which are there. And um, we've also got these bits here to do as well. So we'll go back to this. Probably a bit better me moving this rather than keep moving the camera for you actually. It probably is a bit easier. So that's all that bit. Right, artichoke. And we'll do all the bits where Mardell has. Um, we'd also do a bit on these, um, probably at the side bits. Um, even if Mardell hasn't put a highlight there, we'll just highlight these bits. Now these were the bits, funnily enough, these were the bits, the bit I had to record again, which was her hair. Um, these were the bits that Zach said a rude word about. Um, and I'll leave that to your imagination, you can probably guess what he said. Um, they do look rather rude. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they're supposed to be really, but um, yeah, they do look a little bit. Uh, so I was sort of, I did agree with him on that one, but um, I didn't think I could record him saying the words. So um, let's move the picture a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so yeah. But uh, I'm assuming these are some sort of wood or um, look like her headdress. I'm assuming there's like pieces of wood. Um, I could be wrong, but it just to me looks like pieces of wood. I mean, you can do it any colour you want. Um, you don't have to do it the same colour as, as I'm doing it. Um, of course, you can do it whatever colour you like. It's your picture. Um, you in charge. Um... So that's them. Right now, what do we do on them? We've done Spanish orange, didn't we? So I'm going to just do the Spanish orange on these bits here um, and a bit there. Um, bits on the edges as well, going in a bit. And a bit on that dark bit. Um, some on there. Bit over that bit, and some over that bit. Hope you can see what I'm doing. I have got my lamp on, um, so I do hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I've not had a very good week to be honest. Um, they can't take him to um, his. Not his social worker, but the mental health guy who's in with his social worker um, is off for the whole of March. That's very helpful, not. Um, but that just means for us that um, he can't be seen again by the mental health team until March, April, sorry. Um, we can, they can get an earlier appointment if I go to the GP and we can be seen earlier, but we've already been there once and they said he didn't have a mental health problem. Um, the guy who's off for the month, um, he's seen Zach a couple of times and he says he thinks he has. He's been back to the crisis team and these guys and they admit they made a mistake with Zach and they don't want to see um, him do something obviously and then, you know, we go told you so. Um, so I would rather he take him because he's a mental health worker. He knows what to say. He knows Zach. Um, and we don't really know the right things to say to get them to believe us um 
last time we went they didn't believe us and then he tried to hang himself a week later. Um, the crisis team came out when he tried to hang himself um, and they also said that he, he was depressed but he didn't have a mental health problem. So uh, it's just a nightmare to be honest. So, and Zach's best friend has fallen out with him, and Zach is like distraught. It's the only friend he's got. Um, so, if things aren't very good at the moment, um, and I can't see it getting any better, especially if his friend, you know, decides that he doesn't want to be friends with him anymore and doesn't make up with him, which is a possibility. I'm, I'm afraid um, and I've just said to him he's just got to be patient he's just got to be patient and he's you know and see if his friend comes around he's blocked him um, on lots of things so Zach can't contact him but I know Zach can be a pain he sent him 72 messages in one day because he wasn't answering him um, I know he can be a pain, so I can understand why he might have blocked him. Zach assures me that he's done nothing wrong or not said anything wrong, but he must have done somewhere along the line. So it's just one big mess at the moment. So really, my life is up and down. But I don't want to put a downer on this um, <laughs> on this video because none of you want to watch. So I'm sure you don't want to hear all my woes about what's going on with me and what's going on with Zach and all the rest of it. Um, I'm going to go in with the artichoke. I'm just going to darken up the edges of these, I think. I'm just going to darken up the edges and the bits that Mardell has shaded. So if you have a think, guys, um, if you have a look through what books I've got um, in the video um, and just see if there's anything that you fancy me seeing me colour, um, I'm up for anything. I've gotten, if not, I do have a new book um, and I would like to maybe do something in there. Um, because it's really cute and I'm, I mean I'm going to do the hair from that book anyway um, and there's so many more that I would like to do in there because it's so so cute um, but it's up to you guys I mean what, what, whatever you want to see really um, so right there we go I mean if you don't like the look of these you don't have to do them this color of course you know it's your page you can do them any color you want really um totally up to you right just put a bit more sand in there i really don't know what these are i'm assuming they're something wooden i'm assuming i could be wrong um could be wooden like dowels or something with i don't know what they're wrapped around with um, but it looks like material or something. Really not sure, to be honest. Perhaps Mardell can tell me if he sees this video. Perhaps he can tell me what they are. Um, I'm going to do it in the in here with the artichoke, just because it would be darker in there. And I'm going to do like just a shadow where it would be darker for the other ones so the ones at the back are going to be darker um, and there is going to be a shadow anyway coming off of this and onto them bits and there's going to be a shadow there for that one so I very often forget about you know shadows and where they lay, you know, things behind them and stuff. That's something that you can very easily forget about, and I do very often in my pictures. And then suddenly I'll go back on them and go, oh, I didn't do that bit, did I? And um, it's surprising how different it can look. 
with some shadows. Right, I've got my black and I'm just going to go, because this isn't showing up too well. I'm just going to go and I'm slightly going to do a shadow. Only really, really lightly. But round all the ones that are darker, because I don't think the artichoke is quite dark enough. So I'm just going to go and try and define them a little bit, if I can, just to make them stand out a bit more. There we go, that looks a little better. Oh, it's gone over that one, never mind. Never mind, I can't worry about these things. As you can tell, I'm not very happy at the minute, but I'm not going to drag you all down and be miserable. I'm happy that I'm colouring, and I'm colouring for you lot, um, which makes me happy. Um, I haven't done any filming for about a week now, um, and you know why. Um, so, yeah, it's good to be back filming. Um... I enjoy it. Um, I have been doing a little bit of colouring um, in my own time. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, when, if and when I can, when, when things will allow me to. Um, I think they look a little better now. They're a bit more defined. And I'm going to just put slightly a bit of black on these where the shadow is just go over the artichoke and just put a little bit of black um the weather has been quite nice i mean it's been sort of dull today and the last and yesterday was dull um but apart from that it's been really nice and sunny um which has been really nice but my arthritis has been playing me up it's as if it's telling me like oh yeah okay it's warm and sunny outside, um, but it's supposed to be winter, and that's, you know, when you get more most pain, when it's cold and wet and things, and, and I'm saying, but it's not cold and wet, but my body's saying, but it, yeah, it is, because it's winter, it's, it's cold, so it's winter, so that's when it hurts, but I'm not going to dwell on that either, so there we go them bits done um right now we've got this bit and this bit as well which looks sort of i don't know sort of metallic things and i'm gonna do them the same color because i'm lazy and because i've got these colors out i'm gonna do these a goldy color as well just so they all tie in and then on the final part i'm gonna do the feathers um i have an idea i don't know if it's gonna turn out or not something i've never done before um but i just saw somebody else do it not on feathers i did it with something else and and i thought wow that is like you know it's so effective and i thought that could easily be done onto feathers, actually. Um, and so I thought, I'm going to give that a go. And we have some feathers on here. So we're going to try that. Um, right, we're just going in with the artichoke. Just doing the bits that Mardell has picked out. I mean, this has got lots of lines on it, this one. So I'm not going to be too fussy should I say about going on the exact lines you can if you want my pencil is not actually that sharp at the moment um, you can follow the exact lines or you can just put your own in now in the middle here he's done quite a lot of um, sort of dark scribbly bits in the middle there right let's go with our Spanish orange and let's just go probably not all the way 
but just there. I hope you can see that okay. Um, just up to the edge and then we're going to go on the ends of that one and bring it up there. And then I'm going to get my sand. I'm going to go around the edges where there's a little bit of white left. And in the middle of that. And then I'm going to get my black. And I'm just going to outline there the shadow on the... What's wrong with this black? a bit too much in my mind. Right, where were we? Right, we've done the oh, choke with me on that bit. So now we've got this which I'm gonna hang on. I'm just gonna also do artichoke on the bottom here as well and on this side and on this one gonna do some artichoke and there it's gonna be darker anyway because the branches are over it like that and then back to our Spanish orange and pull that up there like so And then back to our sound and we'll go over all of that so we're going to blend that in blend them two together I've got a snorry Dylan next to me you can hear him breathing quite heavy you probably can't hear him but I can I don't want to put the camera in his face because he's probably wake up he's sound asleep at the minute but I don't want him to wake up and think oh what's that in my face so there we go and just can I go in with the black to make it stand out a bit and then I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the black lines just to make them stand out a little bit and maybe this one as well let's see if I can keep in the lines it is what's wrong with my eyes today it's all over the place Right, maybe I'm just gonna do some dark lines with my black. You don't have to do this. I mean, you can even do these a different colour if you wanted to do them silver or I don't know bronze or any colour really that you that you fancied. Um, you could do them that colour. You don't have to do them the same colour as me. I just thought it might all tie in nicely together um, with our headdress. Um, right, that's 30 minutes, um, so I'm not going to have time now to do the feathers, um, which are there. Um, so what I'll do is I'll end this one here and um, I will start a new one and we will do the final part, which is the feathers and see how they turn out. And before I forget, I want to say a big, big hello to all my new subscribers. And thank you so, so much. Um, we're heading now towards 250, which I'm amazed and shocked about. Um, but of course, really pleased. Um, and I will do a giveaway at 250. Um, so we can all look forward to that. 
Um, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Next one is the final. See you then. Bye.